As you learn about the narcissistic pattern, it's also wise to reflect on the much healthier alternatives. Now below, you're going to find a link to my new extensive course called Ready, Set, Connect. It addresses both the mindset and the skills involved in gratifying relationships, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. Let's remind ourselves that part of the pattern of narcissism is that these individuals begin with a starting point of being enamored with themselves. Narcissists honestly do think that the world is supposed to revolve around them, which is why they allow themselves, if you will, to be manipulative or exploitive. They've got to be in control. They think of themselves as superior over you. They don't show any empathy for you because it's all about them. They are, are very resistant to any kind of input, meaning they're very uh, defensive. And one of the uh, natural byproducts of all of that style of thinking is narcissists very willingly will diminish you. Now, there are some who in their diminishing of you are very obvious. They're openly insulting and they're uh, condescending and loud and all the rest. But then there's a whole pattern of insulting toward you that we call gaslighting that many narcissists will employ. When we talk about gaslighting, we're talking about the narcissist wishing to create a state, a state of confusion on the inside of you relative to what the truth is. They want you to interpret events in ways that are favorable to them, which is their way of them maintaining a superiority over you. And in doing so, they want you to have a lot of second guessing and doubt and insecurity that arises inside of you based on their projections toward you. Okay. So what I want to do, and I've, I've talked about this in other videos, but I want to give you 10 of the most common gaslighting statements or, or uh, comments that a narcissist can make toward you, the more you're on to it, then the less inclined you're going to be to get suckered into all of the uh, ramifications. And let's keep in mind, when the narcissist gaslights you, there's so much that's not said that's covertly implied in the way that they're engaging with you. Now, the first uh, uh, gaslighting comment I want to mention is probably one of the most common ones. Number one, the, the narcissist can say, I was just trying to help. So let's suppose the narcissist is giving you lots of unsolicited advice. They're, they're being critical or intrusive or bossy or they're invalidating. And when you call them out and say, hey, back off, will you? They can come out with this statement that says, I'm just trying to help. And the unspoken message is the narcissist is more or less implying, I'm a nice person. You're just unappreciative of all of the wonderful things that I bring to the equation. It's their denial and it's trying, it's them trying to make you out to be the bad guy because you don't like their criticism. Or a second very common gaslighting statement is, who told you that? So once again, let's suppose that you're talking about something and you say uh, that you're not pleased with this, that, and the other that the narcissist has done. Then uh, when they say, who told you that? The implication is that there may be some people who are speaking against me or who are not running parallel to my way of thinking. Not only are you wrong, but they're wrong too. You see, nobody disagrees with me. That's not part of the, uh, the game plan. And so uh, some corollary statements that might go along with that is you got it all wrong or that's not what happened or you're making a big deal out of nothing. How many times have you heard those kind of comments? A third gaslighting statement that they might uh, offer to you that's very common. And that is, I'm sorry if I offended you. How many times have you received the non-apology apology? When they say, well, I'm sorry if I offended you, first, you're not sorry. Second, what do you mean if? <laughs> you, you're offensive. But what they want to do is instead of saying, you know, I, I did some things wrong, 
the implication is, I think you're being really thin-skinned right now. You're problematic. You're defensive, and you have very poor interpretation skills. But if I offended you and you interpreted that way, then I'm sorry, when in fact, no, they're not. It's, it's gaslighting. They want you to feel poorly about them being offensive. It's crazy-making, but that's the way they operate. It's very manipulative. Now, the fourth uh, comment, if you will, that I put on my list here is not really uh, a comment, but it's just this. <sighs> the old huff and sigh. So let's suppose that you say there's something that I'd like to discuss, and they go, <sighs> that's gaslighting. Uh, the, the implication is, I don't know what it is that you're about to say, but I know it's going to be stupid. You're always off base. Go ahead, say whatever nonsense you need to say. And so right there at the very beginning, they're letting you know, I'm not going to listen to you because I don't deem you worthy of being listened to. Okay. A fifth gaslighting statement is nobody does more for you than me. And so there are times when narcissists may want to remind you, well, there's one person in this room who's magnanimous. There's one person in this room who does so many good things and is the terrific standard bearer. And you're looking at him, it's me. And so the implication is you're just an ingrate. You're in my debt. You uh, have no right to differ from me. And, you know, a corollary, when they say no one does more for you than me, another a corollary to that statement is, look at all the nice things I've done. And you dare to question me or want to talk about things? Are you kidding me? They want you to stay confused. Or a sixth gaslighting statement that they'll make is, you're the one who has the issues. So let's suppose that you call them out and say, hey, look, you've been angry, you've been uh, inappropriate or irresponsible, and you say something to that effect. It's like, no, you're the one who has the issues, uh, and, uh, and basically, uh, you're the one that made me do whatever it is that I do. And so if they did get angry, it's like, yeah, if I got angry, it's because you, you did it to me. Or if they were irresponsible, it's because I never know what you're going to say or do, so I just didn't do what you wanted. You're the one who has the issues. And so even if they're caught red-handed, they won't uh, acknowledge it. You're always the one who's creating the atmosphere that's problematic. Or a, a strong uh, follow-up to that one, number seven, is a gaslighting statement is they may say, you are so argumentative. Now, they may be the most argumentative person you've ever met. Uh, the implication is, how dare you disagree with me? And so what they do is they project their junk onto you. They see in you what they won't admit within themselves. And by the way, uh, we say, you are so argumentative, we can throw in other terms. You are so controlling. You are so stubborn. You are so defensive. It's their gaslighting. They project onto you what they refuse to admit within themselves. An eighth gaslighting comment that's very common, the, the narcissist may simply say something like, well, I was just stressed out. So let's suppose that there has been an interaction between you and that narcissist that didn't go well, and, and, uh, and they, they kind of realized that they weren't at their very best with you. Maybe they were agitated or irritable or uh, something uh, unattentive. And so they can use that broad euphemism, I was feeling stress. Now, my immediate reaction is, well, who doesn't have stress? We all have stress. What they're really saying is, you have no right to hold me accountable, or I reserve the right to stay wrong. We'll just call it stress. Uh, and it's their way of trying to, uh, to get you to doubt your confrontation or to doubt your reason to feel frustrated. A ninth gaslighting statement, and, and this one is what we might call the backward non-compliment. They try to compliment, but compliment you, but not really. They might say something like, you did really well. Of course, it would never have happened were it not for that other person also doing some good things. 
And so uh, something goes well in your life. And so they'll say, well, yeah, that went well, but it's probably because of that other individual. And it's a classic way for them to minimize. You see, one of the things that narcissists uh, want is they want to be in the superior position. And so for them to say, you know, you actually have some really positive things in their mind that diminishes them. So if they compliment you, there's going to be a caveat on it. It's like, eh, not really. Or then the 10th the one, and this is one that just makes me roll my eyes. Um, let's get together soon when we can talk about this more thoroughly. When the, when, and of course, they never do. Or a corollary to this is, hey, let's do lunch. Um, basically, what the narcissist is saying there is, prepare yourself for the silent treatment. Prepare yourself for the ghosting. I'm going to make it seem good that I can't talk with you right now. I'm going to make you anticipate it, but it ain't going to happen. But they won't say that. So when narcissists come at you with these gaslighting statements, and by the way, I've given you 10, uh, there could be a whole lot more. Let's not be confused. Confusion is what they want for you, but let's be very clear. Gaslighting is a form of abuse. It's its own passive aggressive cruelty. They want to damage you. That's the abuse. The narcissist is in fact projecting his or her unfinished business onto you. Uh, they absolutely despise the notion of taking responsibility for who they are, so they're constantly trying to push uh, whatever problems are onto you. And, and basically, gaslighting is the narcissist's way of saying, I want mind control over you. So when you hear statements of this nature that I've listed out, I, I'm hoping that you can think, wait a minute, I know what this is. It's a trick, and I'm on to it. And uh, I'm hoping you can listen to yourself and think, I know who I am, regardless of what the narcissist says, and I'm going to trust my heart and mind about what I know about my decency and my character. I'm not going to allow that narcissist to bully me with whatever conclusions they're making about me that are constantly in their favor and my disfavor. And knowing that this gaslighting person is simply trying to keep confusion, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them from my inner circle of advisors. Now, I do hope that videos such as this can give you some good ideas and insights about what you're dealing with. Uh, and like I say, the more aware you are, then the more capable you are of making your healthy uh, initiatives in the better direction. If you've not already done so, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Uh, you notice that Gus is fairly close to the blanket today. I know some of you make comments about that. Uh, he just kind of goes where he wants. He, he's gaslighting me, but I don't care. Anyway, Gus and I will keep more videos coming uh, your direction. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have a need for therapy, and I know that many times uh, when you deal with things like this, you, it would be good for you to be able to have somebody to help you unpack what you, is going on in your world. We ha we're sponsored by the people at BetterHelp.com. I'm very pleased that we have the link below that, that can take you to them and their service. And there's a whole team of licensed professional therapists that you could choose from. So if that's a need, I strongly encourage you to do that. We also have my therapeutic courses. Um, the, and uh, with multiple videos, uh, written material, and guided questions, and they're very extensive. They're, it's like taking an online class. Uh, Ready, Set, Connect about healthy connection skills. This is me about establishing those so necessary boundaries. Free to be, finding yourself despite the controllers. We have my podcast, the Surviving Narcissism Podcast. We have uh, my books and other resources. Okay, I so want you to be on to this whole notion of gaslighting, and I want you to have an awareness of the tricks that they have. And when you see them coming at you with these kinds of comments that I mentioned here today, it's like, I'm on to it, but you know what else I'm on to? I'm on to what I know is the healthy alternative, dignity, respect, and civility. That's who I am. That's what I stand for. And I'm hoping that the narcissist not only will not be able to rob you of your peace, but you will be able to continue on as you engage with the world in front of you as a person of peace.